continuing our visit to the Ringling Grounds, we now enter the Circus Museum's Tibbles Learning Center. We will visit first a miniature model circus called the Howard Brothers Circus, which opened at the John and Mabel Ringling Museum on January 14, 2006. Since that time, over 2.9 million ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages have been captivated by the more than 42,000 piece replica. That's the largest miniature circus model in the world. Howard Tibbles began building models of circus wagons when he was seven and hasn't stopped yet. For 60 years, he has been working on this astounding replica and continues to add new pieces. It took Tibbles 18 years to complete the big top. From the canvas top with its three rings and four performance stages to the wagons that carried all the equipment related to the tent. To maintain the accuracy of the model, all the pieces are based on his extensive collection of vintage photographs, numbering in the hundreds of thousands, supplemented by historic posters, heralds, programs, route cards, and oral histories. Now covering 38,000 square feet, the Howard Brothers Circus shows the entire operation of the American Circus at its zenith. Visitors can see the show's arrival on 55 train cars, the parade of 154 wagons, the sideshows, life on the back lot, and the main event under the big top. Tibbles built his models to be 1 16th of life size. The tallest pieces are the center poles of the big top at 5 feet 2 inches. Of uh, the 42,000 figures and counting, the tallest is the giant at 6 and an eighth inches. There are 925 animals including horses, parrots, armadillos and bison. To feed such a crew there are 900 sets of miniature silverware and dishes with tiny monitors installed showing actual footage of meals being prepared in a dining tent. All of the circus equipment is designed to be packed up into wagons. Just like the real tented circus, moving on to the next town after just one day. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you.